All right, hopefully you don't mind the noise outside if you can hear it. But Team Old School coming back with a new deck profile. We have our appropriate Mystic Mime Exodia deck profile. As you should all know by now, Mystic Mime just shuts everything down. They can't play hand traps, effects, and they can't attack. So it just leaves you to do whatever you want. And, you know, I'm old school, so as you see in the other videos, Blue Eyes... And I have Constellas, which is considered old school now, but not old old school, but who better than Exodia? So we're going to utilize, you actually use your extra deck. Might not be often, but you do utilize it. I'm going to show you why. You have an appropriate engine as well as three more engines in this deck. Your Mystic Mind to just, you know, stop stop them from playing and let you let you do something and then... You have your Exodia Incarnate to just bring stuff back. So let's just jump right into this. We'll start with the monsters. Of course, you need all five pieces of Exodia. I had all my kids sign it so that if I go to a tournament or anything, it's like they're, my heart is in my cards. They're with me. And together, there's nothing we can do. Literally, Exodia stops everything. It's a condition. Not an effect that triggers, activates, it's a condition. You got your three legendary Exodia Incarnate. We're gonna try the deck, try to focus is on you can either draw it out with draw power, search it out with searchers. Or place them in the graveyard to bring them to your hand at the end turn. With Exo um, Legendary Exodia Incarnate, you would try to get one of your pieces in the grave. And then on your end turn, it will come back. Also, this deck lets you control the field. So you can never have more monsters than your opponent. And I'll, I'll show you when we why when we get to it. Don't have many monsters though. You got three Legion of the Fiend Jesters, basic searcher, you can equip, um, I'll show you why, but I like him better because you can search out a piece of Exodia from your deck to your hand, or if you have one of the limbs, that you can't search the head of Exodia if it's in the graveyard, but if you have any of the limbs in the graveyard, with Fiend Jester, when he goes to the graveyard, you can bring that piece from the graveyard to your hand, so the deck can focus on bringing them back to your hand. And then old school, like I said, Witch of the Black Forest, I did not know it was at three. And it's like, no deck runs it now anyway. So I, I kind of feel like, you know, I'm outdated, but we can still pull off wins. Also, another spellcast, as you can see, the whole deck is spellcasters. So I just love the fact that there's different archetypes in Yu-Gi-Oh, but it goes in depth. You can go into, you can choose to play spellcasters. And there's so many Pacific Spellcaster deck that it just opens up in a whole other doorway. Say Spellcasters, there's like a thousand different decks you can play. Spellcaster p p uh, Pendulums, Spellcasters OTK, Spellcasters, Spellcasters um, Counters, and so forth. But this whole deck is Spellcasters. When she's sent to the graveyard, you can search the head of Exodia. It's only a once per turn, as well as Fiend Jester. So if you send two Fiend Jesters to the grave, you only get one of their effects. Two witches go to the grave, you get one of their effects. But that's all cool. So that's pretty much it for the monster lineup. You only have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Wait, let me get double check. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Sorry, sounds slow. It is what it is. Um, is. I'll leave them like that. Then we're going to get into our magic spell cards. I keep saying magic because they were magic cards first. And then somewhere down the line they change the spell card, so I'm still with the magic cards. You run your three mystic mines. As long as they have more monsters on the field, their their monsters have no effect in hand or field. Um, also, they can't attack you, so you're trolling, searching, or drawing, or bringing back from the graveyard and actually winning. <sighs> Sorry. 
and we played two probation two prohibitions so we're basically gonna say cards you have to learn what every other deck is and what cards they've run to stop this deck that will target mystic mime or getting one of your pieces from the grave round one you've seen what they play and you know their key cards to disrupt your plays you, you want to name let's say MST if you know they have it or Twin Twister if you know they have it you play this card they cannot play those cards at all if they have um, another deck that has their own individual magic card or trap card that destroys your magic or trap cards you have to learn that deck that Pacific card say once you know you're coming up against them say that Pacific card so that way you're just shutting them down and going along with your play and they can't do nothing at all Now, like I said, we play Wonder Wand. You can equip to a spellcaster and send this card and a spellcaster to the graveyard and draw two cards. So this is broken in this deck for the simple fact you can equip, you want to equip Wonder Wand to any of the spellcasters. You can equip, send to graveyard, draw two, and search out a piece of Exodia. So you're plusing one. You're replacing the two in hand for two other cards and a piece of Exodia. Same with Witch. You can attach to Witch, you, um, draw two, and get a piece of Exodia. Not only that, if you already summoned, let's say you played a piece of Exodia. You summoned it in defense mode. And you have Exodia card in hand. You have the setup, you're, you're good. Send to Graveyard, Special Summon. End turn. Bring back. Next turn, you have nothing. You can use these. You already have the field lockdown. You can summon, equipped, send to graveyard, draw two, and turn comes back to your hand with Exodia Incarnate. So you don't have to worry. Like you're utilizing all your spellcasters monsters and bringing them back. Even if you have the head of Exodia, same thing. You can send the head, draw two, and turn, bring back. Try to speed it up. Um, one day apiece. You both draw. Um, you take no damage. And this is gonna. This is a part of you can protect your cards, but also a part of your other draw engine. Which when we get to the traps, you'll see. As well as three hand destructs. Now you probably guess where I'm going with this. If it's not in the title, and three book of eclipse. So even with hand, once you have. Um, Exodia Incarnate on the field, if you have him, you don't have to worry about sending your other pieces to the grave. You can send them to the grave, end turn, he'll bring them back. You can play Book of Eclipse, also more protection. They're face down, they can't link away or whatever, they just have on the field, they'll plus. But um, once we get to our trap cards, well that's pretty much it for the, the, the spells. But this setup is for the second engine. You saw the first. Also, if Exodia Incarnate goes to the grave... Um, you reveal all the exotic pieces you have in hand and you draw that many cards. So him by himself is another draw uh, draw engine. You got second draw engine and then this is the third. Appropriate. When your opponent draws outside of their draw phase, you draw an extra two cards. So with the one day apiece, you can activate, but you won't draw initially. Um, as you all know, I love Exodia and Appropriate. It's a free, like, everything draw power, I'll draw two. We both draw, activate. If it's already activated... You draw one, he draws one, you draw an extra free too. Same with um, Hand Destruct. First turn, they cannot, you cannot draw, but once it's already activated, discard two, you draw two, and then you draw another two. So you're plusing instead of um, going breaking even. Same with Book of Eclipse. You're protecting yourself. End turn, they get flipped up. You can activate. If it's already activated, you draw another two. You see where I'm going with this. Then, of course, you need your three metaverse, so you, you can start off with any kind of combo. Whatever you draw, you can search uh, on summon, equip, draw two, search out a piece of Exodia, set. As soon as they draw one card, play multiverse, which allows you to activate the field card straight from your deck. Or if you already have one in play, you can um, just... Uh, you can... Um, just bring another one to your hand, I guess. I mean, you always want this on the field just in case it, it gets popped and you don't have protection. You just bring out a second one. 
you got your dark bribes so you can um protect your spell you can protect your cards from anything they play at mst twin twisters they would draw a card and you would also draw if you have appropriate already activated or it would activate it itself so it's like all right i'm giving you a card protecting my cards and i'm getting two free cards so i'm replacing my one with two while you get one and the final card to round it up we play two obliterates like i said you can either draw out exodia you have um two draw three draw engines but with obliterate you activate you can control the field even if you would summon a monster and it will be even and he does something to play you you trigger a, a obliterate you can bounce back your monster you will have one they'll have two and then your a mystic mind goes back into play they their effects don't act they work but even if you have two and they have nothing to stop it, you can normally, you want him on the field, and then you summon to send to the grave so you can search out a piece, and then you're going back to one while they have multiple monsters. Also, on um, if this card is destroyed, and you have a piece of Exodia in the graveyard, you can bring it to hand, and that's once per turn. Um, so if you have if both got sent to the graveyard, you're only bringing one piece back from the graveyard. So that's for the main deck, but I'm going to show you also there's multiple things you can do even if you have pieces in the graveyard and they have nothing to really um, to stop the setup. Or you could just end it. I'm going to show a video clip as well. So you're always going to want him on, in the field. Um, you could summon. You can equip. You will send to grave. Draw two, search out a piece of Exodia. The other thing is with the with the extra deck, which is what we're about to get into, you're gonna always want way less. Obviously, you want less monsters than your opponent. So Mystic Mime stays in effect, and there's no there's no stopping your plays. I think that goes there. But let's say you have you summon both of these. You have no draw power. You can search. And you never want more monsters than your opponent. So even if if they have three, or even if they have two, you don't want the same amount. So all your extra deck will is reliant on turning your two monsters into one. So basically, you're gonna you would send, and we run, we witch apprentice. Also another spellcaster. I have, I have two. I'm trying to get a third, but I really don't need any more. But you play We Apprentice, it basically turns your two spellcasters into one. Not only that, you get to search two pieces of Exodia separately. I would say get the head of Exodia and a body part. And now you're back to some your two monsters becoming one. And they should have more monsters than you. If you're going into this play, they should have more um less. Then let's say next turn. You already got two pieces in hand. You have another piece. They still have nothing to stop you. This is even with no draw engine. You will summon another one. Link away for another one. Basically going into another. Or you can go into anything. Like. I'll, sh I'll just show you the extra deck in, in a few. But you're basically going to go into another one. So that way you can search yet again another third piece of Exodia. While still having maintaining one monster on field. Basically why we, we run out these cards. But you want any monsters in, for your extra deck. That, re that require two monsters. And it, it basically becomes one link. So this one requires two dark monsters. All dark monsters get a bonus. Not only that, her other effect. Let's say two pieces of Exodia is in graveyard. And you only have Obliterate on field. And you have her. You can, if this gets destroyed, you search out one of the pieces, bring it to hand. And if she gets destroyed, which I didn't, I didn't know about that. Um, if she's destroyed by card effect or battle, you can target one dark monster in your graveyard, add it to hand, and Exodia is dark. So, the deck just, it, it just yells out, top tier, I break you, old school, mixed with new. And like I said, every other card is generic, any two effect monsters, doesn't matter what its effect is, you're basically turning like I just showed. You're, you're turning your two monsters into one and you have searchers so and even if you set a, set a piece of exodia to the graveyard you will be getting it back so we got two of those 
we got one decal talker, so like I said, I don't have more monsters that I, I need, but it should be over but before then. But they're they're linked twos. So if you bring out another piece, two plus one is three, as you should know how to uh, link summon, and then you could go into a three play. Two of two plus effect monsters. Counts as an effect. Plus the Witch of the Black Forest or the um Legion of the Fiend Jester. You could go into three play. And let's say you still didn't have nothing by then. You can summon a fourth, go into a three, plus the one, and go into a four play, because it's at least plus two effect monsters, and the link three will count as three plus the witch, and then you're searching out a four piece, but it should be game by then, but it's just to say. Then we do run two links, so if you have appropriate face down, you have protection for it, but nothing to activate and trigger it, you can set one piece of Exodia, you're good. Next turn, set another piece of Exodia, and the visual is always better, I know, sorry. Uh, where the hell did I put Exodia? You, they're one, so one, one. Once you bring out your second, you flip the first, and you're gonna rank. For number 63, and he has two nifty effects. One, you can discard a card, and at the start of your opponent's next standby phase, each player draws a card. So, on their standby phase, you both draw a card, and extra, an extra card, and it will trigger your appropriate to activate. Also, um, its other effect is each player gains a thousand land points. But you want to utilize his standby phase to draw a card, and then you both um, you draw for appropriate, or you can activate it. And then you don't have to worry because you'll be detaching, sending to graveyard to search. Sent to search, and then you have cards to bring them back. And then, just in case any of them actually got removed from play, um, you would be linking three of your level four monsters. Like as long as you have two on the field, you bring out that third. Play precautiously. Bring out that third, and you exceed some in those three monsters for um, Bujin. And you'll be using his other effect where um, you can only control one of these. Your turn, you can target one of your banished mon level 4 monsters or lower. Special summon that target. Or you pass turn, your opponent's turn, target one of your banished level 4 monsters and bring it to your hand. So if Zodia did get removed from play, any one piece, before your setup was uh, initiated, you can bring out Bujin. It is possible. And... You'll detach on your opponent's turn, bring back one of those the piece that was removed from play, and then continue going on with, with what you're doing. So basically that is it. My appropriate Exodia deck. Mystic Mime. Whatever. Spellcasters Unite. I don't know. Whatever it is, I really don't know what to say. But you get the gist of it. Regardless of it trolling and you not liking Mystic Mime, what do you think of it? Like... The synergy behind it and everything. I would love to get your feedback. Not hate. Not just hate. But the, the idea behind all of it. Everything you can do and utilize. Or other, other like I said. Quick video. Showing you how it played off. And this one I am running. Exodia appropriate. I don't know why is it lagging. Come on. I'm recording. Looks like it's loading. Let's reload. Sorry about that. Really sorry. Wait. Let's replay this. This is perfectly of how I just explained it. Um, in here I do have two extra cards, uh, but can't get them, so part of indulgence, but you wanna, you're gonna see, I set up the field card, he can't do nothing, get the free plus two, fiend jester, bring out the piece of exodia, I attack so that I can search out a piece, 
then enter and I get the other piece back. You see he recycles the pieces and you don't have to worry about nothing with Mystic Mime on field because anything in hand and on field is negated. You got your protection, he brings back but I have nothing in grave. Now if I would draw power then I would have drew summon a piece of Exodia to draw and then keep bringing back. Oh as you can see look, summon, equipped, draw two, set a card, and turn, bring right back. You get the gist of it, but I also show you're appropriate. I mean, I, I played that the wrong time. We'll negate so we could draw for appropriate. So there's multiple ways you can do it. Like you could draw, search, send to grave, and bring back. And then this one. I wanted to draw and then I, I drew the fourth piece. So this is when I said the links come in play. Send the link, summon Exodia. And that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoy.